can continue with creating our geometry and additional elements like turnouts and then our model, the corridor. Here you can see an empty DGN file in OpenRail Designer. We will attach our terrain model that we just created with using one of the methods to this file. This is called file federation. What you can do is you can distribute your design into different files. That is, you can put your main geometry into one DGN file and then create a new file, reference this file in and continue with designing your for example, sidings or yard areas, or you can separate, as you can see here, terrain from the rest of the files. We select a feature definition. That's an important step in the NIV program because this feature definitions ensures that you have a beam compatible model, that everything you create has a feature definition attached to it. As you can see in the geometry, lab, I have a wide range of different tools that I can use. I'll just use the simplest method, complex by PI, and simply draw something. Here, while creating your geometry, you can also take advantage of what we call design standards. That is, in this case, I just created with using none, but if you want, you can also create new design standards and use this to drive your uh, for example, the radiuses, the spiral lengths, the vertical curve values. Here we created our geometry. Let's take a look at our profile. I open a profile view, a new view window. You can see here we have a profile and this profile is dynamic. As I move my geometry, you can see how this is affected. Also, together with the uh, terrain tools, for example, what you can do here is I can just simply turn on display of my contours. You can also use other tools to create your geometry, like line tools, arc tools, point tools, offsets. So, for example, if you want to create a simple siding geometry here, First, let's go to our Rail tab and use our Place Turnout tool. In the Place Turnout, you'll see that there is a wide range of different turnouts. You can see single and double turnouts for different countries. These are the same libraries that we had in Bentley Rail Track. You can also use Place Crossing tool, this time to create crossings, diamond, double slip, or single slip or you can use create crossover to create crossovers. We'll use place turnout. I'll select a German turnout, this one for example, and place it here. Select the hand and it is placed. So go to my geometry tool, create select offsets and tapers. I want a single offset partial. Select this. Let's make the offset value 5 meters. And let's say it is from here to here. Then continue with attaching this to that extra track. I select line from element, simple line from element. Select my turnout, snap to the end. Create this line, then go to arcs, and I'll just connect with a simple arc. You can use also spirals. Simple arc here to here with a radius of, let's say, 300 meters. And please trim both of these geometries. So you can see very simply I created this model. The beautiful thing about new geometry tools is these tools uses a method what we call design intent. So it understands what you do and will repeat what you do when there's a change. For example, let's go to here and maybe move this to here so we can more easily see. And then let's see what happens as I move the geometry. You can clearly see that 
the geometry thus follows or another example when I move this turnout to here you can again see your geometry is updated you can as well change the offset to for example minus 8 meters and again it will preserve the connections between the elements or take a look at your profile here you can see the terrain again everything is rule based so anything that you create will be repeated once you make changes in your design similarly you can work your vertical geometry in the profile view let's open our profile view once more again I'll use my VPI method you can use also best fits or element methods let's create something very simple I'll use a circular definition for my curves and we'll snap to here you can see I create a very simple geometry of course this slopes are not very realistic but yeah you can do that you can also take advantage of table editor to define the geometry both in horizontal and vertically let's see what we created in a 3d view this is a 2d view and with just a single click I can see how my geometry is created in 3d here you can see the 2d model and connected 3d model so if I make a change in this here for example like this you can see this model is also updated